Hey leaders, hey, I just want to say thank you so much for uh, this past uh, Sunday where we had our, our first groups rally. Uh, hands down, probably one of the best times we've ever had together. I really appreciate you being there. Uh, and for those of you that made it, uh, hopefully you're still enjoying your swag that we gave you. For those of you that missed, unfortunately, we, we don't have any left over, but hey, we'll try to get you some of the next one. Uh, go ahead and mark it on your calendars because come uh, the end of August, early September, probably somewhere around uh, the end of Labor Day or after Labor Day, uh, we'll actually have our next group rally. Uh, and this time it will be in the new space. It's going to be a totally different feel. It's going to be really, really awesome. So make sure you mark that on your calendars for somewhere around Labor Day uh, in September. So, hey, we um, one of the things that we introduced this past week at our groups rally was our scorecard. You know, one of the things that we talk about quite often is uh, how healthy are our groups. And we keep saying we want healthy groups. We want our groups to be uh, healthy. We want them to uh, all be on the same page so that it kind of, you know, feels uh, pretty much the same or we're all pursuing and moving towards that same goal. Uh, so we introduced this. Hopefully you still have this. For those of you that didn't get to make it, uh, email me. Let me know. Shoot me a text. Uh, and I'll make sure and email this to you uh, so that way you can kind of see where you measure up. Uh, last week we talked about God first and we went over a couple of things what it means to uh, put God first in our groups. This week we're talking about banded together. Banded together. Now I know uh, one of the things that uh, we always say is, hey, you know, we put these measures on these groups, but are they biblical? Well, let's take a look. The first thing that uh, it means to be banded together in our groups is our open groups or our Bible fellowship groups uh, connect visitors to members every single week. Hey, one of the things I want to introduce to you real quick is um, I want you to download something for me. Uh, and actually, it's, a, it's an app that we have uh, that we use on all of our communication. It's actually how you're receiving this email right now. Uh, it's through our church community builder, or what we call CCB, uh, and they have developed this brand new app, and it's an excellent, excellent app. Most of you receiving uh, emails from me or through CCB saying that uh, Andrew Sutherland has assigned you uh, this prospect or this person, um, and they want you to reach out to that person, uh, this is where this measure comes into play. So uh, if you look at the, the app here, it's this one right here. It says lead, and it has three circles on it. But I want you to, to, to download that app. Uh, go ahead and update your username, update your password, uh, just to let you know that if you forgot your username or your password, that does go to somebody. Uh, so if you need to reset it, uh, give it some time. It's not system generated, so somebody actually has to physically go in and reset that. Uh, but if you download that app, it is so easy uh, for us when we send you like a prospect or someone who maybe has joined our church or maybe they visited our church and we really want you to reach, them, reach out to them uh, and make sure you get them connected in your group. So uh, that is one of the key things uh, I believe uh, is essential to the health and the growth of our groups uh, is that we continue to reach out to new people who uh, have come and they visited our church for the first time. So um, one of the, the measures is Open Groups Connect visitors to members every single week so we want you reaching out to them uh, and the second thing is group praise weekly in smaller groups i want to read a, a scripture to you it comes from the book of acts uh, in the fourth chapter the 31st verse the bible says when they had prayed the place where they were assembled was shaken and they all were filled with the holy spirit and began to speak the word of god boldly when i read that verse it just fires me up it gets me so excited because you know we talk about wanting revival in our area in the the, the uh, south hall area the flyer branch area we want to see just this movement of god just go out and just make a huge impact um, and we talk about that almost every single week uh, and i think one of the biggest ways that we can start that that spark or start that fire is when we pray fervently we pray specifically together and we break out into groups every single week the smaller groups within our groups if we break out and we pray uh, within those groups every single week. I think it's absolutely essential that we do that. And guess what? It's biblical. They were doing it in the early church. They were praying together, and they were doing it in smaller groups. And look what happened. The movement of God just accelerated, and it was just so, so huge. So I think that's essential for our groups even today here at Christ Place Church. Um, the third thing is group has quarterly events outside of regular group time. So we talked about this when we talked about the qualifications that makes for a group. Uh, we want you getting together outside of your weekly group time, whether you meet on Sunday morning, whether you meet on Monday night, whether you meet one day during the week in your D group, whatever 
time that you meet, we want you getting your, your group members together. Maybe it's in a big group or maybe a smaller uh, setting, whatever it is, we want you to surround it around maybe events that are going to happen anyway. So like uh, baseball season's coming up or, you know, if it's football season or maybe you just reach out and you just serve in the community. And that's something we'll get to a little bit more when we get to World Changer. But uh, we want you meeting together um, outside of your regular group time almost once a quarter because I think it's absolutely essential. Uh, and this right here, this is how that word authentic, when we say authentic community, that's how this word is really going to come, uh, and it's going to come from full circle. And that's where some of these new prospects that we're reaching out to and trying to get plugged into our groups, that's where they're really going to feel that authentic community uh, that we keep talking about. So uh, we don't want to just throw that word authentic around. We want it to actually be authentic. So I think it's key. Hey, one thing I want to leave with you before we go, uh, Man Church is coming up. Woo -woo! Look at that, 5 o'clock, March the 11th. Hey, listen, if you have... Uh, a, a need or if you uh, just have a desire you want to reach out and and maybe grill some burgers or serve some guys that are going to be here hey guys ladies we really need your help for that evening uh, reach out to me reach out to, to brother Rick uh, and we'll get you in contact with the uh, with the right person uh, who can help get you set up for that evening we ne definitely need your help for either setup grilling or even tear down at the end hey one last thing miss Samantha has put these in your your uh, your folders this week this is an area to serve on Easter. Uh, so just to let you know, on Good Friday, which is March the 30th, we will have a 6 p.m. service. Uh, we'll have a Saturday service on March the 31st at 6 p.m. Uh, and we'll have two Sunday, or I'm sorry, three Sunday services on April the 1st. We we'll have 8, 9, 30, and 11. And hey, we don't have uh, Bible fellowship that day. Uh, so preschool uh, it always needs extra help. Children always needs extra help for uh, these times. So um, make sure you're, you're really pushing this with your group members this week. Make sure they're signing up. Uh, give their name, email, uh, the preference if they have a service that they want to, um, to, to serve in. Whatever it is, just make sure you put that on there. Uh, and if you don't get a chance to put this information on there, uh, reach out to me, reach out to Rick, and we'll make sure and get you plugged in. Hey, thank you for watching this. It was great to see you guys this week. We'll see you on Sunday.